What's going on guys? It's your boy Echo and we're back inside of Diablo Immortal today and we're comparing Diablo Immortal to Path of Exile Mobile. Guys, as you can see, I have my boy Captain Nemo with me today to discuss the differences and really what's going on with these two mobile games coming to the action RPG scene. Nemo, how you doing today, brother? Doing very well. Thanks for having me here, Echo. I'm super pumped and excited for Diablo Immortal, for all the stuff that we're going to talk about for this video, for hanging out with you. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's always a good time having you on, man. And guys, if you don't know Captain Nemo, he has his own YouTube channel called Scrappy Academy. If you guys want to head on over there, you definitely should and check out what he's got going on. But what we're looking at right now in the background is some Diablo Immortal footage that you've probably seen before, but it's what we have available right now. So we're just taking a look at that while we discuss a little bit. And first of all, Nemo, I love Diablo Immortal. This is something that we've talked about on my channel before, but the game is literally a perfect game. And I'm not talking about a perfect mobile game, I'm talking about a perfect game altogether. From the graphics, to the gameplay, to the controls, to the ease of controls, I am in love with this game, which is why I started this YouTube channel. I basically made it because of my passion and love for this game. And what's your experience with it? I know that you probably haven't gotten your hands on it yet, but what are your thoughts? I, I can't wait. Honestly, I've watched a lot of stuff. Right? I played a lot of Diablo, regular mm -hmm. Diablo, uh, Diablo 3 and stuff. I played that with you. It's super fun, super exciting. So I'm actually really pumped for Diablo Immortal because it's coming to a mobile device because I'm going to be able to get it in sort of a bite-sized Diablo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super pumped about that because I can't always bring a computer with me, right? So I can't always play it with my, uh, you know, when I'm at home. So when I am at my lunch break, when I'm at work, when I'm just hanging out, I cannot wait to start raiding to play Diablo, to do some rifts. I, I'm super excited about that. I mean, it's Blizzard too, so you know it's going to be good quality. And that's, I think, one of the best things about Immortal is the fact that it's a first mobile game that's coming here with like a really good backing and Blizzard is always quality. Yeah, not good quality, a great quality. Now, Nemo, we have to talk about the other game, the other mobile game that's coming that is a direct competitor and probably a solid competitor to Diablo Immortal, and we're talking about Path of Exile Mobile. Now, I have not gotten my hands on this game. I have not tried it. I don't know really if anyone has gotten a chance to try it. The footage we're actually looking at is from when it was announced and, you know, what was going on at Exile Con. Um, so we're kind of comparing what we're seeing on the screen from that experience and again the build that they had was really just a short test build so that the audience and the community could see what the game was going to be all about which is what we're seeing now so why don't we talk really quickly and I'll have you headed up Nemo about the announcement how did they do we know that Diablo and, and Blizzard they completely failed on their announcement which they've acknowledged it's all good but how did Path of Exile and how did they do over there at Grinding Gear Games? So Grinding Gear Games is a little bit different. They're kind of off the beaten path a little bit. So what they did is actually, I like what they did. They basically, I mean, when they went into the game, they kind of almost started talking about exactly all the negative things that a lot of people say about mobile games. But one of the things about uh, Path of Exile, or that I love about Path of Exile and what's coming to the mobile version of it, is they guarantee there's going to be no microtransactions. They actually can't stand any of that stuff. And that's what they say in the game. We want to make a good game that's just going to be a bite-sized game that you can it just happens to be playing on a mobile device. So I, I, I'm really pumped about that. I like that. It, it, it's very similar to Diablo. And of course, sometimes they even poke at uh, poke fun a little bit at Blizzard mm -hmm. with some of the experiences that they've had. Um, it's all developed in-house. So it's all developed in New Zealand. This is a, a small, um, sort of a small development company that's just working on this game. And, and they're saying that's gonna be no microtransactions, no loot boxes, none of that whatsoever. Yeah, and that's nice to hear. And to be honest with you, I mean, looking at the gameplay, everything looks very similar to Diablo. As far as graphics go, it's hard to say because right now this is in an initial stage. This may not be the final product. But looking at the graphics here to the graphics on Diablo Immortal, Diablo Immortal looks like much more of a complete and, and just more graphically pleasing game. It doesn't always mean it's a better game. It just means that the graphics are better. And that's my personal opinion. Um, something that I love that Grinding Gears Games is doing is that they're being very transparent and open with where they are, what they're doing, and what their plans are. And if I have one negative thing to say about Blizzard and how they're handling Immortal, it's just I wish... I shouldn't even say me. When I go on to Reddit, everyone's asking, where's Diablo? On Twitter, where's Diablo? Everyone wants to see this game or know something about when it's coming what to expect now my plan here with this youtube channel is to be able to bring that information to everybody as i get it 
But even me right now, my, I'm, I'm having predictions. I'm predicting when I think it's going to come. And I, I have ideas of what it's going to look like for monetization. But nothing is actually set in stone. So I think that Grinding Gear Games is doing a great job of being transparent with their community. And I think their community is... Um, I think that they appreciate that. Now, I know that with Diablo and with everyone over at Blizzard, they want to wait until everything is perfect, until it's the best game possible. That's just the strategy they do with all of their games. So it's a different method. It's a different way of dropping something, you know, towards the community. But I know that people want to know, how do you feel not knowing what's coming? Well, I'll be honest with you. I can feel the frustration of the community. I've, mm -hmm. I've been on the same Reddit posts. I've uh, talked to a lot of my friends who are feeling the same way they just can't wait for this game to come out i mean on the same on the same path though i gotta say that i'm also happy with the fact that they're not just pushing this out when it's not done they're taking their time and developing this because we want a good experience plus being the fact that this is going to be the uh blizzard's first mobile game it's gonna it's it's already has a whole bunch of people that are quite unhappy with the fact that it's going to be on mobile so i feel like th when they come out with it they need to knock it out of the park and if they want to take the time to do it I am willing to wait as much as it pains me. Yeah, I can wait. I can wait until this game comes out because it's going to be amazing. So. Yeah, and I can agree. I mean, what I got to play, I played it eight times through. I believe it was when I was over there at BlizzCon was beautiful, was perfect. And if the whole game plays through like those 20 minute session that I played were, it's going to be unbelievable. And I, too, am willing to wait a little bit longer for something that's just perfect and just a complete product. Because, because Nemo, I don't want a game that's going to be here on mobile for six months or a year and then die. I want a Blizzard game. I want a game that's going to be here, even though on mobile, for five years, for ten years, continuously getting updates and continuing to be one of the best mobile games out there. I mean, on my other channel, I cover Clash of Clans. That game is seven years old and is still so popular and doing so well. I want the same thing for this game on this channel. And I know that you on your channel as well, you've been messing around with a little bit of Diablo Immortal. You're thinking about bringing some of that to your channel as well. I'm excited for it, man. Maybe we could like tag team that and really work together for Diablo Immortal. Oh, I'm super excited. Plus, we're gonna, I'm sure we're going to play together. We're going to do some riffs. We're going to get a team together. I am so excited. I can't wait for this. This is uh, uh, Nemo, Nemo, so there's fun. a long list of people waiting to play with me <laughs> for Diablo Immortal. <laughs> Of course, we'll play together and we'll get recordings and we'll be on Twitch together and it'll be it'll be really a ton of fun. I really can't wait for it. But what we're watching here is is more of that gameplay. And as I'm watching it, I'm realizing because I've never played Path of Exile. I'm going to go out and say now, now I've never played. I was more into Diablo and I've obviously been really excited about Diablo Immortal. But from what I understand, from what the community says and from what friends of mine have said about Path of Exile Mobile is that it's Diablo, but it's even deeper. It's like there's a lot more depth to the game. And Diablo is, has some depth. It's not like it's a very surface game, go kill people and that's it. There's a lot of depth with builds that you can have and things like that. So Path of Exile Mobile even being more, having more depth, uh, I don't know if that's, if that's right for me or not. Sometimes I like to just go kill stuff and I don't want to have to dive too much into the depths of the game and uh well i guess we're gonna have to see and it's definitely a game i'm gonna try out i definitely can't wait and now another thing is they say that it's been all built in-house in new zealand correct now, yeah so that, that that's one of the things they talk about all in-house all their team no, no outsourcing right and that's great and that's so cool and i love it because they have control of everything but in saying that, it makes me feel that they're kind of saying, you know, putting Blizzard down in a way because some of it was outsourced. But it, outsourced or not, the experience that I had on Diablo Immortal was incredible. It's it's probably, I mean, I'm thinking about all the mobile games that I love. Some really, okay, Clash of Clans, really great mobile game. It doesn't push the limits of graphics or anything like that, but as a mobile game experience, it's amazing. Let's compare it to like a Call of Duty mobile game right now. Or, you know, the graphics are great. It gives you really that Call of Duty experience that you've known from console and from PC. And and Diablo, it's I, I feel like it's just better. It's just so amazing. I And I've said it in one of my previous videos, I prefer to play Diablo Immortal on the mobile device than playing Diablo 3 on the PC. And that's probably an unpopular um, opinion right there. But I am a mobile gamer. I primarily play everything on mobile. It's where I'm comfortable. And that's what the game's being marketed to at the end of the day. It's being marketed to people that like playing on mobile. It's not really a game that's trying to convert PC players to mobile devices. It's players that are, you know, the player base of mobile is huge. I mean, I know you do both, but there's a place for both, right? 
Oh, 100%. I totally agree. And, and in fact, the, the mobile market is just growing. It's, it's, it, it, we need, we need ga uh, game companies like Blizzard to come out with really amazing games because like what Grand Ge Grinding Gear says right now, the games aren't really, I mean, there's a few, there are some gems out there, but most of, of the games, they have a lot of commercials. They are not very well made. They'll just get pumped out. Like we just talked about before without actually putting the development and the time into it. They have loot boxes, they have all of that stuff. So. To break the mold, we need a good company to come in here or a few good companies to come in here and start popping out some really good games. And I love the fact, like we talked about before, Diablo's take the time. Yeah, they are outsourcing it, like the point that you just mentioned, but mm -hmm. honestly, there's nothing wrong with outsourcing some of the coding or some of the things that, like some of the nitty gritty stuff that needs to be done while they're still controlling all of the artistic right. and development of it, you know? Like you as, want, long as, you... the, as long as the game is their vision and ends up being their vision at the end, whether they do the code or or another company does the code really as long as it's a blizzard vision we're looking at the game that we want to see so we're going to be summing some things up here today you guys could tell that we're big fans of diablo immortal but in our next video another one where i'm going to have nemo back in the channel we're going to compare a few other things with diablo immortal to path of exile mobile nemo what are those few things that we're going to be looking at in the next video we're going to compare the progression systems. We're going to talk about the depth of the game of Path of Exile versus Diablo itself. We're going to talk about PvP, PvE, and all the different aspects of both games and how far they go with each. All right. I like the idea that I like doing it in two digestible pieces of co content rather than just a really long video. So if you guys want to see more about that, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring the bell because when we are doing that, you will want to be here so you don't miss out on it. So Nemo, thanks so much for coming to the channel today, man. Thank you so much for having me. I have so much fun being here. I can't wait for a moral. I'm so happy to hang out with the entire Echo fam with you and super pumped for the next video. Thanks again for having me here. Hey, anytime, man. It's always a pleasure. I love having you on. I can't wait to play the game with you, make videos with you about the game and just be inside of diablo immortal obviously we're looking at that again right now on the screen guys but thank you guys so much for coming through let me know in the comments below your thoughts on diablo immortal versus path of exile mobile really curious as to what the community thinks because really games are made and sustained by the communities around them so uh you know whatever game you choose maybe both hopefully we have great communities for each and who knows maybe i'll be covering both of them here in the channel that would actually be pretty cool but nemo and Echo Fam, as he says, we're out of here for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see all of you back here later on today with a live stream or another video. Remember, I do have another YouTube channel, and not only that, guys, we are live streaming Monday through Thursday over on Twitch, Echo Through Me Gaming on Twitch, and uh, it's, it's every day at noon, 12 p.m. Eastern. Come have some lunch with me, guys, and we can play some games and have some fun. Hopefully, I see you over there, but for now, we're out of here. Nemo, take care, brother. See you later. And I'll see all you guys back here with another video or live stream. Take care, guys, and be good.